Today we're at Ricewood, a barbecue joint in Ann Arbor, Michigan. Actually, they have two locations. Chef owner Frank is a good friend of mine. We actually went to culinary school together, and we haven't seen each other in person since we graduated culinary school, but I've been following his restaurants via social media for the past few years, and we're in the area. Super excited to catch up. It's been a while, and I'm super excited to try all these smoked meats. Let's go. That money muscle, baby. Frank, you got yourself a little empire, huh? It's going well. Dude, that looks amazing. Some meatloaf on there, just till you want it. Uh, yeah, I'll take it. I'm gonna it over. So, spare ribs, Szechuan chicken, pork belly, brisket, pulled pork, smoked brisket, meatloaf. Oh my god. Here's some more barbecue. Enjoy, I'll be back. All right. Thanks, man. I know, right? I'm glad. Absolutely amazing. I'm so full. Yeah. Yeah, if it goes without saying, thanks, Frank, man. You, you've outdone yourself, you and your crew. Fantastic job at Ricewood, Ann Arbor, Michigan. You definitely got to check them out. Thank Absolutely. You, I devoured that. It's so good. <laughs> and they're trying to get the Detroit root beer. Rock City root beer. Leaving today, heading up to Mackinac City. There for about a week. And, uh, we go over to Mackinac Island. Definitely gonna go up into the UP, uh, check out the cool stuff up there. Hey, how you doing? Have you guys met my good friend, Lindsay? Hi, everybody. Picked her up in uh, right outside of Cleveland. For a spot. <laughs> it's because I'm a rough and tumble kind of lady. Not really. Could be, but not really. You don't want to see it, trust me. <laughs> nope, she'll cut you. So yeah, that's what we're doing. Also, I would be really remiss if I didn't say this, Frank, Thanks so much for all your hospitality. Uh, it was great hanging out, uh, checking out Ricewood. Fantastic restaurant. You got to check that out. And then uh, just uh, great seeing you and catching up, man. Glad to know you're doing so well. And I uh, hope to see you on the next trip round. So you be good. Keep them briskets and pork butts and pretty much all the meats. Smoke it. Yesterday at our campsite, it was totally beautiful and dry. And then literally like, late last night early this morning we both started heard it start to rain and this morning we both woke up like oh everything's gonna be wet again but, but it dried out it stopped raining so it's a little bit of, it's kind of drizzly overcast you know most of the rain looked like it moved through so yeah. luckily i don't think we're gonna be in the rain setting up so i can handle this and it's just misting it's fine and I don't care, it could be pouring down because the last three stops we've been at, we've only had power. We haven't had any water or any sewer hookups. But they were beautiful campgrounds. They were nice campgrounds. But so uh, <laughs> I'm just looking forward to not having to worry about, not so much conserve water, but just watch our uh, the water going into the gray tank, really. We yeah. know we can survive with the sewer tank, the black tank, for you know at least nine to 10 days, so. But yeah. hookups. It looks like we're about two and a half miles from our next campground and uh, let's go get set up. All right, let's do it. Lindsay's getting us all checked in. Let's see where we end up. I've heard we got a good spot down close to the lake. What's the deal, Lucille? <laughs> so we're all set. We got site number 1124 and we are right up from the lake. This has to go here. Okay. In our window. Um, wood is $5 a bundle. Nice. We can get it here or at the store. But on we go. They they missed you really, really bad. Did they? Were they crying for me? As every time you leave the car. Are you okay? Did they hurt you? Did they hurt you? <laughs> <laughs> Pitiful.
a cold morning here in Mackinac City. So we're right on the, uh, the shores of Lake Huron. I'm just digging the change in seasons, of the change in uh, temperature. I love it. I mean, take a look. Over in the distance across the lake over there, you can see that's Mackinac Island. We're definitely gonna be making a day trip over there to ride bikes around, eat some fudge, you know, do all the things that you do when you go to Mackinac Island. Uh, but I really wanna wait till the weather clears up a little bit. Uh, we're supposed to have this overcast, kind of gloomy weather for the next couple days with a chance of rain, you know, above 50, 60%. So I'd like it, you know, hopefully to be sunny and a little bit warmer, but nonetheless, if it doesn't, we'll still go over. Uh, you can see Mackinac Bridge in the distance as well. That connects the upper peninsula of Michigan to, uh, I guess, lower Michigan, you would call it. And uh, yeah, it's just beautiful out here. Lindsay and Van are still in the camper waking up, getting warm. Van and I came out here last night and walked around and, uh, Got some flashlights out and walked down the beach and we had a good time. It was nice to to get out of the camper and explore the beach, especially at night. You can't see anything. You're just kind of like stumbling along the rocks with a flashlight, seeing what you come across. And, um, I mean, I knew it when I saw it, but the first thing last night when I walked out is I saw the sweeping light off in the distance. And it was, for a second, it was like, what the hell is that? And then it hit me, I'm like, oh, it's a lighthouse. And, um, I've never been on a lake big enough to need a lighthouse. Yeah, just digging it, man. Love this time of year. Uh, the leaves are just starting to change. I imagine within another month or so, it's just gonna be like a color explosion. So, you know, for what it's worth, I'd like to be here for that, but I, I'd also feel a little bit more comfortable with us being further south as it gets cooler. Anyway, just uh, enjoying some coffee, taking a walk down the lake. And I think today is an inside day. We're just probably gonna chill around the camper. I'm gonna keep walking, see what we can find. and. Uh, Stay warm. Babe, Michigan's weather has given us plenty of reasons to pull out those winter clothes. Looking like my hunky lumberjack over there. The smell of fresh cut timber. The crash of mighty trees. And you're cooking to boot? I'm a lucky lady. It smells amazing. I'm not, I'm not disagreeing on. with you. Get on over here. A little jambalaya, so got some, just some chicken. Chicken thighs and chicken breasts marinated in some uh, Creole spice. Mix those in. I got some sausage. Mix that in here. Mix all that around together. Yeah, that weather has been nice, man. I mean, it's been nice because I like the change of season. So obviously, like I was talking to somebody back home, I think it was my dad, and was just like, you know, you normally don't get this type of weather until like January, February. Um, especially that one night a couple days ago, it went down into the 30s when we woke up in the morning. So oh, yeah. um, I'm digging it. I like the cold weather, so I know you don't, but to me, it's just <laughs> another excuse to bring out the jackets and the hoodies and I the flannels. I do love my sweaters. Exactly. I've been saying for years, let's move somewhere cold, and I'm always like, hey, it's just a get out of jail free card to go buy whatever cold weather gear you want, and eh, it's always been your response. <laughs> Not to say I don't like beaches, I do, but. All right, so we got a little crushed tomatoes gonna go in here as well. Just kind of let this all simmer and stew. A couple bay leaves, garlic, we'll let that go. Probably about 30 minutes. Add a little cayenne pepper, some hot sauce, we'll be good to go. Awesome, it smells amazing. Just trying to warm up. 30 mile an hour winds all day off the lake there and rain kind of off and on. All day yesterday, today was a little more off and on. Um, tomorrow, hopefully it gets a little bit better. I'll take a trip out to Tacoma Falls and I don't know, I have to find a way to warm our bones back up. What do you guys think of the jambalaya? Good. Mm, it is so good, it's just really hot. It's really good, even though it is pretty late. Really good, I'm super hungry, so dig in. It is perfect for a rainy, chilly night.
that's uh, for the wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald Memorial in the 1970s. Right here. to uh, Whitefish Point today, which is on uh, Lake Superior. <laughs> uh, Still laughing. I mean, I, I can't say anything. I've got terrible dad jokes myself, so. We were gonna go to Pictured Rocks, but Van had uh, a heavy school work this morning, a heavy, heavy load of school work, and then he's got some stuff to do tomorrow. So we're gonna go to, uh, to Quantamon Falls today on our way back to the campsite. Uh, we are in uh, Michigan's Upper Peninsula today. It's gorgeous. The, yeah. The water looks nice. The water looks nice. You I know. It's like the color of the Gulf of Mexico. It's crazy. I want to like swim in it, but I'm like probably going to get hypothermia in like under two seconds. So. Yeah. This is not a swimming. Not this a swimming is not the swimming time of year. Very kissy. They feel warmer. I That's think they're good. okay. They're That's gonna good. survive. <laughs> All right, you wanna find uh let's find some falls. Something less windy? Yes, please. I don't know why, it's just like I used to like not enjoy coming out on these like walks or something. But I don't know, something just like changed when we got up to like the Midwest part. Cause like I'm pretty sure it's like the leaves started changing color, like the weather started changing and I don't know why, it just looks a little bit better than so like now, now you enjoy the hikes? The northeast, yeah. It's just like, this, this is like way cooler than what... Maybe you're, maybe you're changing and you're starting, you're growing and starting to appreciate. It's not just rocks and trees and water, right? Yeah, it's, this looks like way cooler than like something we've like seen. Like, like the Hun Main was really cool, but I don't know why. It's just like the UP and like the Great Lakes and everything. Just like not by the coast. It's like complete... It's like yeah, completely different, so new, and I just I just feel like it's like better than the coast. That makes me happy. It warms my heart. It warms my heart. Your heart is probably cold because of that breeze at Lake Superior. <laughs> it was not a breeze. That was a bone chilling breeze. That was yes. a gale. Well, it's nice to hear, man. I'm glad you're enjoying our little hikes and adventures. Quick walk into Quaminon State Park, and uh, we're at the Lower Falls right now. I'm gonna drive up to the Upper Falls here in a couple of minutes. It's only about four miles up the road, but we're just up through here. And man, I can tell you, just driving up today so far, like the leaves changing, so nice, man. I mean, obviously, in like another month, it's gonna probably be an explosion of color, and I just it'd be so cool to be here then because just the, they're the most vibrant. Peeping the leaves. I'm a leaf peeper now. Leaf peeper. It's our uh, first day out of the camper in like three days since we got here. It's been 
just blustery windy raining definitely chilly we're staying at uh, Mill Creek campground nice place um, huge too I mean there's so many campsites but we have one that's like a large full hookup site super spacious sites I mean we're probably like three sites from the lakefront so just I mean actually we can see the lake from our site um, luckily there's nobody parked next to us right now so you know it's a little sliver but it's pretty nice and uh yeah i can't imagine being here in the summertime or especially late like the end of summer right when it starts to cool off a little bit um so yeah we're digging the campsite we're digging this place i think it's kind of like maine I'm like damn we could have spent a month up here we probably would have frozen our ass off at some point if we would have stayed a month but uh we're prepared plenty of winter clothes for the trip furnace works great although uh we did come to uh realize the other day that uh we're gonna have to be a little bit more, uh, uh, what's the word, thrifty with our uh, propane usage, because um, uh, we left the uh, the furnace running overnight for a couple nights, and uh, I think once we get the the camper warm, snuggle up in bed, it's just gonna be make more sense to turn it off for the evening and then turn it back on in the morning to conserve. Because um, the last time we filled up a tank, it took us about two months to go through a tank and that was pretty much just cooking um, and then it's been probably less than a week with it cooling off uh, we went through a full propane tank in less than a week between cooking and uh, heating so obviously as it gets in the cooler winter months that's going to be another consideration to take in to account for uh, is that uh going to be spending some more money on propane but you know Side of that or freeze to death, so we'll be spending money on propane. Enough for me, this is what you came to see. Myself. Are you embarrassing yourself? Yes! Why? Your first time to NSU? Whoa, 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 I don't want no problems. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for a uh, 100 subscribers by the time you guys are watching this, we'll probably get more, but we yeah, so hit 100 subscribers and yeah. Actually, today we hit 101 subscribers. So oh. thank, to, thank you to all of you who subscribed. Um, hopefully, by the time you see this, we have well surpassed that number. But uh, we're thankful for everybody that chooses to subscribe, to subscribe and follow us. It means a lot. And uh, yeah, hopefully you're having fun following following along on our adventures. Uh, as much fun as we're having uh, going on the adventure and document them all, documenting them all. Subscribe for free air. Subscribe. And get more of this face yeah because i'm going to be posting my own content soon on my like side like the rv life soon so we'll get started on that it's going to be like a kid you're the you're like a kid's take on yeah, rv life like more like memes included in it like definitely like more like stuff that's like relevant like what is quintessential like michigan food so we talked to a couple other people talked to frank um and he said hey like you should make a coney dog i'm like why is a Coney dog Michigan? Well, popular misconception is that the Coney dog was invented in Coney Island, New York. Well, it actually wasn't. It was invented in Michigan in the early 1900s, somewhere in 1912, 1914. A lot of people think it might've been some uh, Greek immigrants that were passing through. Um, so we're like, yeah, let's do a Coney dog. So I was thinking of a, a good way to put a spin on a traditional Michigan Coney dog. I'm like, why don't we do a venison Coney dog, right? So we're gonna make a venison chili um, to go on this Coney dog. Now typically the Coney dog is basically an all-beef hot dog topped with an all-meat beanless chili. Now venison is a very lean meat so this has been cut with a little bit of beef fat. We've got a little bit of avocado oil in here. We've got some fresh chopped onions, some chopped garlic. I'm gonna sweat those for a minute. I never would have expected that a Coney dog actually came from Michigan. What better way to make this uh, really to, you know, even more Michigan is to introduce game. Add this venison. And then to the venison, we're gonna go ahead and season it with pink salt, fresh cracked black pepper, a little bit of chili powder, 
Also, you want a little bit of tomato product. So what I did is I actually took a little bit of beef stock and some tomato paste and thinned out that tomato paste. And we're gonna add this in as soon as we get this venison brown. All right, so we've got our ground venison nice and browned up. So we're gonna pour that in. Make sure you get all that tomato goodness in there. Let's stir that in. We'll finish cooking this down. Let it reduce a little bit. There's two different styles. There's like a Flint style and there is a Detroit style. The Detroit style is like a more wet style. The Flint style is uh, less soupy and more dry and just a lot more meatier. Yeah, I remember you saying that the people with the Detroit style we're better off with a fork and knife, whereas the flinters yeah. can use their hands because it was a sturdier chili. Right. Just get in there. Grab it with your hands. You're going to get a little bit messy. But that's half the fun. One thing I, I do want to add in, though, I just happen to have Cholula on hand, and I like it. And, you know, rather than go out and buy something else, that's what we're going to use. This is very simple and an easy lunch. Looking for something to knock out in the camper for the kids, and you want to try something, you could definitely do this with beef. You could definitely do this with ground turkey if you're looking for something even leaner. We're going to continue cooking this down. As soon as this is done, let's go throw some hot dogs out on the Blackstone and get ready for some Coney dogs for lunch. If you like what you've seen, you like the recipes, the content that we're putting out, let us know. Click that like button, keep the algorithm happy. It really, really helps us out. And we'd just love to hear from you. All right, so Chris got all this whipped up for us. We've got our nice steamed buns here, all beef hot dogs. Next, we're gonna add our venison chili. Mm, gosh, Chris, this smells so good. We'll start with the onions. A little goes a long way. These babies were hot when I cut them. <laughs> My eyes have just barely recovered. We got ourselves some mustard. And I don't know about you, but I think this looks amazing. Hey mom, can I have just chili please? <laughs> what do you mean? You don't want mustard and onions? No. All right, buddy. How's that look? Looks pretty good. I can definitely smell it. How's it smell? Amazing. Amazing. All right, a couple of planes for my little animal. <laughs> I haven't eaten a hot dog in so long. I don't eat a lot of hot dogs, but if I'm going to, this is the way to do it. Yeah. Super easy to prepare. A great lunch for the kids. <laughs> it's all for the kids. You're going to doing a tailgate for the day and looking for some ideas. Obviously, if you're in Michigan, you know all about. You don't need any help explaining the uh, the Coney dog. But if you're looking for something to add to your lineup on game day, try out this venison chili Michigan Coney dog. You will not be disappointed. Made it to Mackinac Island, y'all. Yeah, we did. Pretty quiet here. Beautiful I mean, it's, it's a beautiful day though, man. It's the best day we've had since we've been here. We got here about four or five days ago. The first three days was rainy and windy and, you know, perfect for just sitting inside and drinking coffee and getting some work done. <laughs> and uh, now it's sun's out, very few clouds out. It's just beautiful end of the season. So places are packed. So if you've been here before during the summer, it's jammed up and you ever thought about coming back in the early fall, now be the time. Oh, the smell. And I imagine that because it's not super hot, the uh, the reeking smell of uh, horse poop is probably not as bad. <laughs> I always liken it to like, if you go to New York City, or you go to New Orleans in the summertime. San Francisco. San Francisco, those like big city smells are pronounced in the summertime. Oh, oh God, absolutely. And it cools off in the winter. It's like, okay, it's not nearly as bad. It's still bad, but not nearly. So <laughs> anyway, we brought my bike over today and we're gonna rent a couple bikes for these two so we can ride around the island. Let's go explore. But Bunch first, coffee. Chris, just give me the dirty chai. All right. Maybe? Yes, <laughs> it's National Coffee Day. Up the road line. 
Oh no, I hope you don't get a ticket. We're on the same street. Those are penguins, we went too far. You guys like my hoodie? It's a nice looking hoodie. Not gonna not gonna lose you in a crowd, that's for sure. Yeah. So many colors. All the colors. Speaking of colors. Saw, I said the same thing when I saw that. Um, no, just being able to tool around on the bike and not have to worry about cars and stuff like that. And, oh, we couldn't have picked up all the things. You know, I would say so far the best part, my favorite part of Michigan is so far, is that van has finally started to come around and take an interest in like hiking and, and all of it. And all of it. And yeah. I knew it takes some time, but I'm Always. Glad, glad he finally came around because. You can't push it on him, he's hard. No, exactly. He's going to make his own mind. When he's 12, so. <laughs> Chorus and 12, beware. Whee! <laughs> <laughs> Maxwell! Horse pump. What's up, guys? Yo, yo. Fudgy. You want to try it? Yeah. Try out some rock and roll. What have you thought of Mackinac Island so far? Amazing. The food is great. I loved riding around the coast. It was just so nice and yeah, right. beautiful. The, the perimeter around the island. Seven miles. So I think we definitely earned ourselves three big slices of fudge because. Well, not all at once, but yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Me and mom are suckers for sweets. So when she when she said it was four more dollars and we could get two more halves. You guys are suckers, man. We had to. Uh, the, we had Should to. Should have stopped. No, you, nope. didn't, you didn't have to. <laughs> we did. That's called a post-fudge sugar high crash. No, it's not. I had two and a half try samples. <laughs> Haven't even gotten into the real stuff. Well, we'll just leave you here. Winter is coming. No! Hey! <laughs> <laughs> I've been waiting to do that for so long! Three months! I haven't been able to get you. <laughs> Living in a camper, there's no more opportunities to scare you. There's nowhere to hide. <laughs> Doesn't take much. <laughs> Let the games begin. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 
I love you. The bike ride was probably my favorite part, even though I do love, like the food was super good, the fudge. Yeah, it's such a cool place, definitely. <laughs> Can't wait to come back in the summertime. And I'll say this, Michigan, I'm hooked. There's so much to do. Oh yeah, definitely. Whatever kind of person you are, there's something for you. Now, me and dad, I asked, would you want to live here? I said yes, and dad said in a heartbeat he would move here. We've loved our time here in Michigan. We, you know, like every other place that we've been so far, I think we wish we would have spent a month here. Um, and uh, we can't wait to come back. But next, we will be leaving tomorrow and we'll be driving through the UP on our way to Wisconsin, where we will be hitting Green Bay and checking out Chef Zach at Lambeau Field and uh, the Green Bay Packers. It's gonna be a fantastic time, so. Let's get on that ferry, which is only a quick little ride, which is nice. We'll see you there. <laughs> 